Turn up for the cool. Watch your shoes. Don't step on my shoes. I'm the clock, them fresh out of the fridge and I'm a room. Welcome to Grabber Dream Channel. Today we're going to look at Tamil Lee Sparta's case. Tamil Lee pleaded guilty to illegal position of firearm and ammunition. He will serve three years in prison. We're going to take a look at the story right now. Tamil Lee Sparta's runs in with the law came to a head yesterday when he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to three years in prison for illegal position of firearm and two years for illegal position of ammunition in the gun court division of the home circuit court in Kingston. He will however serve three years as the sentence are run concurrently. The embody dancehall DJ was represented by Tam Tavares Finson QC and Dana U Martin. Martin said because the entertainer pleaded guilty he received a reduced sentence. He pleaded guilty therefore the judge had regards for the sentencing guidelines. The judge had regards for the time he served in custody. The fact that he had no previous conviction until now. The judge had regards that he plead guilty on the first relevant date and is entitled to up to 50% discount on the usual starting point, Martin told Jamaica Observer. According to Martin, for firearm offenses, the sentencing can range from 10 to 15 years. However, when a person pleaded guilty on the first relevant date, the Criminal Justice Administration Amendment Act entitles the person up to 50% off on the range of sentence. Other factors taken into consideration were that the entertainer had already served three months in custody and he was gainfully employed and a contributing member of, of society. On December 14, 2020, the entertainer whose given name is Leroy Russell was arrested after a vehicle in which he was traveling was intercepted by members of Jamaica Constabulary Force. The men in the vehicle were searched, a 9mm Glock pistol with an extended magazine containing 18 rounds of ammunition was found in the dancehall artist's waistband. Tamili is no stranger to, bo to brushes with the law. In 2014, he was arrested and charged for lottery scamming related offenses after police raided a house in the Kingston 5 area believed to be occupied by the entertainer. A laptop belonging to the DJ was also seized after it was reportedly found with personal information of several United States residents. He was freed four years later. Also in 2014, he was denied entry into Dominica after arriving in that Caribbean island to perform at a concert. The Dominica Association of Evangelist, Evangelical Churches protested his appearance they said the artist's appearance and music glorify Satan and promote lawlessness and violence. He was de deported following day. In 2015, the Montego Bay police prevented him from performing on reggae someplace for a fear of patron safety. The following year, he was listed as a person of interest by detectives in the Kingston Eastern Division at that time, it was in rela relation to a shooting incident on Sanders Avenue in, King in the Kingston 2 section of the corporate area. In, in 2017, the Freeport Police Station in Montego Bay requested Tamily Sparta turn himself in for questioning in relation to a shooting in the Flankers community during the Christmas season. He was cleared. In both instances, in March 2020, Tamily Sparta's six-year-old daughter was shot during an altercation involving three men in Flanka. A nine-year-old boy was fatally shot in that incident. A former member of Vibes Cartel's Port Morgaza Empire, Tamily Sparta, got his break in 2012. He is known for a song including Sparta Soldier, Sparta Angel, Psycho, and Rich Badness. Well... Tamil is really a bad boy, you understand, but he can't be good in it. You have to just try to be careful, you understand, because a Jamaica this, you see me. But when I go talk to the artist, I don't know, because 
a whole heap of things reach all him because even him daughter get shot up and things so you understand we never say no more grab a drink subscribe like oh